We know that the hauliers, I think, are in a meeting with the, with the Transport Minister, Eamon Ryan, this evening about the situation. They say it's chronic for them and they just can't, won't be able to put trucks out in the road. That's going to affect the supply chain. Um, it's going to point to potentially a, a much bigger problem and, and actually what we're seeing right now might just be a fraction of what's going to come down the line in the next few weeks if we keep <coughs> seeing these rocketing price rises. Uh, and that's something... I must say that Eamon Ryan didn't fill us, fill us all with great optimism on, on his, um, with his words this morning. They seemed a bit d detached, I thought. But um, talking about people, you know, may maybe using less fuel and that kind of thing, that isn't, that isn't possible for some people in, in industry. We know that. Um, the rural independents, as I left the doll this evening, were, 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 were giving grave warnings about the effect a lot of this is going to have on uh, contractors and people in the agricultural sector. But um, I, th I, I think... We've all been taken aback, first of all, by the by the um, by the events in, in in Ukraine, but also the unanimity of the reaction of the of the of the, the international community. So one would hope that the that maybe there could be an unexpected um, rally here. We've seen uh, multinationals pull out of, the, out of Russia. I don't think anyone expected to see something. We could be facetious about it, to see a company like McDonald's or Starbucks pull out of Russia in the way they have. And, and one would almost hope when you see the, the oil prices drop this evening that the world markets might settle down. And I think our government probably has shown us that it's slow in reacting to this. It's been warned for an awful long time. I spoke to people in the Department of Finance back in January and they said, listen, we're taking these moves now. If you remember then, there was the, 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 the uh, grants to um, householders, but all bets are off when, if Ukraine, if there's war there. Now that's six weeks ago. They've known for six weeks that a lot of this has been yeah. possible. So I think what might rescue us is the unanimity in the international community yeah, rather than, than, than government actions here because they just seem a bit yeah. slow.